Janice, the vegan eater. And I'm Elaine, apparently the man eater. And today we're going to talk about beer. Wait, beer's not vegan? Yeah, when I found out not all beer is vegan, I nearly had a heart attack. I don't taste any animals. Are there any <laughs> animal products in this? Well, the beer itself actually doesn't contain any animal products, but many beers and wines are clarified through this product called either isinglass or gelatin. Sounds fancy. Fancy, huh? <laughs> well, isinglass is derived from the dried swim bladders of fish and used to clarify both beer and wine. And gelatin, most often found in gummy candies like gummy bears and, and jello, actually are the collagen in animal skin and bones. Oh, that sounds interesting. Wait, so which of these beers are vegan? This one? Yeah. This one? Yes, that's my favorite. <laughs> this one? Yes. This one? Yes. This one? No. Why? Because it's uh, filtered through gelatin. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one? Yes. And this one? No, because it contains honey, and because honey comes from bees, that's not vegan. It's also a little bit more complex, too, because the bee population is responsible for one-third of the world's food output, like mm -hmm. fertilizing it and things. So by stealing the bees' food by eating honey, we're kind of directly affecting um, our own food, pop food growth, which I think is really interesting. Oh, yeah. It does sound interesting. Well, I guess we're done talking about beer. Um, let's continue our party. Yeah! Cue the music. Wait. Who got the cheese? So, the biggest reason I've heard for people not wanting to eat vegan is that they can never live without cheese. Well, I have your solution, and now you can't use that as an excuse anymore. Dea cheese. It's delicious, it melts, it doesn't have any casein, which is the milk protein found in most soy cheeses, so it's definitely vegan, and it's delicious, so definitely check it out. So yeah, uh, check out our next episode and our last episode coming out next week. Thanks for watching.